is hosting the seventh session of Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction in Bali since May 23rd. And to know further about the meetings, joining us on Asia Prime, live from Bali, Metro Globe Network senior journalist Edmund Daniel. Good evening. Hello, Edmund. Can you please tell us, Edmund, about the event? Hi. Hello, good evening, Ralph and Sarah. Great to be back here on Metro TV. Yes, I'm reporting from Bali, Indonesia, and the seventh global platform on disaster risk reduction 2022 concluded with success today after three days of long and lengthy discussions. This global multi-stakeholder forum is to review progress on the implementation of the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction, where governments, the United Nations and stakeholders get together to share knowledge and to discuss the latest developments in reducing disaster risks, identifying gaps, and also making recommendations. Officials and stakeholders from around the world participated in the forum as they get together sharing insights and ideas to encounter future risks. Because, as you know, Ralph and Sarah, this is a world issue. For instance, in Australia, they experienced many natural disasters such as floods, extreme heat, which contributed in causing bush fires in recent years and affected lots of Australians and also in our home Indonesia alone where many natural disasters occurred including land, tsunami, volcanic eruptions and so on. So tell us uh, some of the prominent issues that have appeared in the meeting since uh, it opened uh, up until the closing today at Okay, very interestingly, many prominent issues were discussed throughout the meetings, including building safe and resilient health facilities where we can learn from the impacts of the devastating COVID-19 pandemic and how we can better educate not only the health system, but also other relevant industries as a whole, so we can learn from the pandemic and use our knowledge and be more equipped by building relevant facilities and innovations in tackling a future disaster risk. Therefore, be more ready and adaptive. Another key issue, Ralph and Sarah, is climate change. Indonesia's Minister of Public Works and Public Housing, Basuki Hadimulyono, says it is a major threat to society and pleads to all participants to take anticipative action to tackle climate change. Most disasters in the Indo-Pacific fall under two categories. First is hydroclimatic disasters such as floods, droughts, tropical cyclones and extreme heat. And the second is geophysical disasters such as earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanoes. An interesting session which I attended today was about gender equality, disability and social inclusion in anticipatory actions for disaster preparedness where there is a need for supporting capacity development of vulnerable groups in people with disabilities, children, and gender equality, where women poses a greater risk than men, among other circumstances, Ralph and Sarah. And Edmund, um, were there any proposals that were offered by Indonesia during the meeting? This is actually a perfect timing for President Joko Widodo and his government to actually propose some very, very important issues such as President Joko Widodo has offered four sustainable resilience concepts in facing systematic risk of all forms of disasters and also pandemic included. The first concept involves investment and funding where he offered countries to invest more into science, technology and innovation, which includes guaranteeing access to funding and transfer of technology. The second is to strengthen and prioritize anticipatory disaster preparedness culture and institutions. While the third concept is to build infrastructure resilient to disasters and change, including the importance of green infrastructures such as mangrove forests and green open spaces should also take top priority. The fourth and final concept is the implementation of global agreements to be run at national and local events such as the Paris Agreement and also the Sustainable Development Goals upon reducing risk from disasters and climate changes. Back to you, Ralph and Sarah.